Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about absolute magnitude. So absolute, we've spoke a bit before about apparent magnitude, which is the brightness scale based on what we see on Earth. But the problem with that is that our sun is not really a bright star in the grand scheme of things, but it's really close, so it looks really, really bright. So it's much, the, one of the biggest problems is you imagine being in a room with lots of people and you're trying to work, you're standing at the front of the room, and you're trying to work out which person is taller than the other. When they're all at different distances, you cannot work out which one is taller. So what you do is you go, okay, all at the back of the room, and then you line them up all at the same distance away so you can make a decision on how tall that person is. And that is the basic premises of absolute magnitude. Absolute magnitude is the brightness of a star when at, this is the important part, 10 parsecs away. So the idea is that I would take my sun and I will throw it 10 parsecs away. I understand that luminosity follows an inverse square law so I'm then able to work out how bright it would be at 10 parsecs away. I can then use that value and compare it to the other stars. Now astronomers in particular we still use quite archaic terms so we're actually going to be using the same kind of scale that we use for apparent magnitude. So the bigger the number, the more positive the number, the dimmer, okay? And there is a mathematical relationship using Pogson's law and the inverse square law that you can use to uh, derive this formula. I am not going to do that because this is not on the specification at all. The formula for the relationship between apparent and absolute magnitude is. And the formula is little m minus big M equals 5 log d over 10. This one, this little m, is the apparent magnitude. This big m is the absolute. This d is the distance in parsec. So this is the actual distance it is. This log is to the base 10. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a couple of examples of using this formula and rearranging with it. So let's take our sun, for example. Our sun has an apparent magnitude of minus 27. The distance of our sun is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters and I want to find what it would be if it was 10 parsecs away. Now the first job is that the reason that is 10 is for 10 parsecs so you must convert any distances before you do this into parsecs. So this here is in meters so I'm going to divide that by the value of parsecs. So I'm going to take 1.5 times 10 to the 11, and I'm going to divide it by the value for parsec, which is 3.08 times 10 to the 16. So 1.5 times 10 to the 11 divided by 3.08 equals 4.87 times 10 to the minus 6 parsecs. Yes, it's small, it's really close. <coughs> so I'm going to put the into the formula. Little hint, I always put the numbers for apparent and absolute magnitude in brackets. It makes it much easier, trust me. So the formula is m minus big M is 5 log d over dan. So minus 27 minus big M is 5 log 
4.87 times 10 to the minus 6 over 10. So I'm going to divide that by 10. I'm going to log to the base 10 of that answer. I'm going to times that by 5. So I have minus 27 minus m is minus 31.56. So I've got minus, so I'm going to take it to this side, I'm going to add it. So I've got minus m equals minus 31.56 plus 27, minus 4.56, which means that m equals 4.56. Positive. So it's actually quite dim in the grand scheme of things. So our star has an absolute magnitude, magnitude of 4.56. That is pretty dim. Okay, if you remember, Hippocrates labelled them all from 1 to 6, where 6 was the dimmest, and um, 1 was the brightest. 4.56 is quite dim. Okay, now let's change this up a little bit. Let's get another board here. So let's change this up and let's start looking for the distance. Let's say I know that the absolute magnitude of a star is plus 1.2 and the apparent magnitude is minus 1.6. I want to know the distance. So this is the interesting thing. You can actually look at the numbers and take a bit of a guess. I know that the star in the night sky normally is quite bright at 1.2. But when I put it to 10 parsecs away, it gets even brighter. The only way this could happen is if the star itself was further than 10 parsecs away. And when I brought it to 10 parsecs, I was bringing it closer so it got brighter. So I know that this distance here should, touch wood, be bigger than 10. So let's put this in. M minus big M equals 5 log D over 10. So plus 1.2 minus 1 point minus 1.6 5 log d over 10. So I'm going to sort this out first. So it's plus 1.2 minus minus, so that comes with plus. So 1.2 plus 1.6 is 2.8. So before I do anything with this log, I've got to get rid of this 5. So it's 5 times log, so I'm going to divide that by 5. And I end up with 0.56 equals log d over 10. Now I'm going to put this to the power. So this is log to the base 10. So to undo the log, it will be 10 to the power 0.56. And that will get rid of the log for me. So 10 to the power of that, <coughs> I have 3.63 d over 10. So d is 10 times 3.63, which is 36.3 parsecs. So it's quite far away, which is why when I gave, gave it absolute magnitude, it became brighter. Now, the exam board may do this. They may give you two stars with the same apparent magnitude, but different absolute magnitudes. And from that information, if you go, well, this one got more brighter than the other one, that must mean it came from a further distance away than the one that didn't become as bright. So that there is absolute magnitude. Make sure that you're aware of the definitions of both of these. They love asking them for one marker piece. And the important part about the absolute magnitude is this 10 parsecs away. So that there is absolute and apparent magnitude.